Hi, welcome back to Ideas Box. And if this is your first time here, then thanks for dropping by. My name's Jimmy. Today's video is another small repair to our MTD ride on mower. It's a pretty good mower. It's just uh, nearly 10 years old and it's done just over 200 hours. So it's starting to show its age in a few things. The cable for engaging the mower deck had failed. And as I'd fixed it once before, I decided it was time to fix it properly. I'm pretty happy with it and it ended up being a fairly simple fix. Anywho, let's get into it. I've had a minor failure with this right on mower. This swage fitting is supposed to have a hook that goes through that hole there. It has broken in the past and I've hooked it with a piece of wire and it did last for a little while. But I'm going to have to fix it properly now, so I've got an idea what I'm, how I might go about doing that, so let's see if my idea works. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to open this up a little bit to get that to fit inside it. And then I'm going to crimp that underneath there so that it pulls up on the swage fitting. And this piece here I'm going to squeeze onto the aluminium swage fitting and then I'll cut it off about there and then from 50 millimeters from there to there I'll drill a hole and that will go through that linkage down there so let's see if that works getting there just got to open this bit up a little bit more to allow that to pass inside there and then I'll crimp that back on there and then squeeze that over the line there and what I might do though before I do that is I'll mark it from there to there cut it off flatten this piece and drill a hole through it right I've opened that up with a chisel and I've drilled a 5.5 mil hole in that. So the plan is now to slide that up to there. Slide that up so that shoulder is level with there. Crimp that, I'll probably use a pair of vice grips for that. And then crimp that and then that should bolt in place and we should be right. Let's have a go at that, shall we? So about there. them up a little bit more right that's clipped hold of that pretty well I'll just do a few more of them and I think we should be right so the trick with vice grips is you bring them in a little bit each time and because they go over center they give a lot of compression force I'm pretty sure this will work This is working, I think. Beautiful. Now let's grip that pretty well. Now just to make sure, I'll crimp this over so it's pulling up on the underneath of that swaged piece there. And then I'll bolt that to the inside of the bracket there and we'll have a look at that and we'll see what we think. So once again, you bring it in a little bit at a time, like a little bit of a wind. And you bring that down on itself, and then down on itself, like that. And now, you can see that's actually going to pull on that shoulder there. So I think that will work. Pretty sure it will. Right, so now the plan is... I'll snake all this back down inside the inside here and then we'll uh, line this up with a bolt and see how we go. So that's what it looks like, that's what I've made. So as you can see it's grabbing underneath the swage fitting. I'll put an arrow on. So it's grabbing the it's not grabbing that cable but it's grabbing underneath the swage fitting. And that bolt will go through that bolt hole there. So let's see how that's done. Right, 
let me just check this theory is going to work. So I'll just pop a bolt through there and through that linkage. Yep, that's working a treat. Yep, beautiful. Okay, I'll just find a longer bolt. That one's a bit short. I can't get a nut on that one. Right, so that's that working. And it works really well. I'm really happy with that. That that does pivot, it's just a bit stiff. It'll free itself up. Pulling the drive belts on for the mower deck. And I thought the cable was stiff, but I've checked it. Wasn't that bad. And here it is here. It's just all the bearings and things going in. I wouldn't lose too much sleep over that. And I've spaced it out with some washers here so that it misses that the edge of that switch. Watch when it goes down. I just wanted it to miss the edge of that switch. I might just try and get a drip of oil down there and then put that little rubber boot back on. But, as far as I can tell, that might be that fixed. And you can see once again, the swage fitting's in there. I've crimped it underneath it so it's pulling up on it, so it's not just this that's holding the swage fitting, but that's going to pull up on the bottom of the swage fitting if it slips in there, but I don't think it will. And I don't think, I wire brush the inside of that, so I don't think it'll cut away at that cable. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video or found it helpful. Make sure to click like and subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell too, so you know when my next video comes out. Well, I reckon that's it for today, so bye for now.